Yo, what's up guys, Rackles here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to request all of your player data from the Hypixel Minecraft server. So I'll get into the actual tutorial on how to do it in a moment here, but I figured I'd start with what sort of stuff you will actually be receiving if you do do this. Depending on which options you select, you'll either get one or two different zip files here, one with all of your Hypixel forms data, the other one with all of the Minecraft server data. I'll be honest, unless you use the Hypixel forms a lot and you're really into it, then there's not a whole lot of useful information in the forms data section of this, but I'll go over it quickly anyways. Uh, there's just a bunch of text files which include any and all of your deleted posts, as well as anything that you've posted on your own profile and other people's profiles, a list of connections that were used to log on from your account, as well as some basic information about your forms account. So like I said, unless you're on the forms a lot and you really wanted to find some sort of post that you deleted by accident or something, I'd probably recommend just requesting the server data, which is what we'll go through right now. And this is where all of the interesting stuff happens. I'll really quickly go through it from top to bottom. The drawings folder contains all of your saved drawings from pixel painters, your API key is self explanatory. Boosters, this is a list of every personal coins booster that you've used and have not used yet, so that's in your inventory. Crate storage is your current mystery box inventory. Discord is just if you have your Discord linked, it contains your ID. The friends section contains your entire friends list as well as the date that they were added. This one's kind of interesting. It actually distinguishes who sent the request, so there's an entire list for friend requests that you sent that were accepted, and there's also a separate list for requests that were sent to you, which you accepted. Next up is guild messages. This contains every message you've ever sent in guild chat. Any of the message files that we go through, unfortunately they only began saving and tracking these since 2017, so it's not really every message, but it's five years worth of messages. Guild info is just really basic information about the guild you're in. Housing world settings just has your visiting settings, theme, and whatnot. Logins contains a list of every single time that you've logged into Hypixel. Again, like most of these stats, they only began tracking this in 2017, so it's not all time. Mailbox contains every message that you've sent to other people people's mailboxes. Monthly ranks is just a history of every time you've bought or have been purchased MVP++. Network boosters is a history of every network booster that you've used or have in your inventory. Nickname history, again this one's also kind of interesting, it has every single nickname you've ever used or reused, so basically every time you've ever run the nick command. Party messages, every single party message you've ever sent since 2017. Pixel painters and build battle, this one's a duplicate of the drawings folder, just minus the drawings. <laughs> Player data contains all of your stats for every single mode, which is kind of neat. Playtime contains all of your playtime for the past year. Unfortunately, it is not all time. Private messages, every private message you've sent since 2017, and server messages, every public message that you've sent since 2017. Personally, I had a pretty cool time looking through some of these statistics, so if any of these things sound like something that would interest you, now we'll go into the tutorial section where I'll show you guys how to actually request this off of Hypixel. So basically what you're going to want to do is open up any browser really, and I will leave a, a direct link for this in the description or you can type it in manually. You're going to want to go to hypixel.net slash data dash requests. So now that you're on this page, you should have something that looks like this. If you don't, it's probably because you either don't have a forms account or you're not logged into it. So really quickly, make sure you log into your forms account. If you don't have a forms account, you can make one right now. It's really easy to do. There should be literally a button like right here to do it. And the last thing that you're going to want to check is that your forms account is actually linked to your Minecraft profile. Link your forms account to your Minecraft profile. All you have to do is log into Hypixel and type the slash link account as it says here. Uh, they're going to ask for all of this personal data just to make sure that you are the real person and you're not going to do any bad things with the data that they give you. You will have to fill this out with your actual name, country, address, and so on and so forth because they will ask you for a picture of your ID later on in this process, so you can't fake it. Now that you've filled out this information, the section that says why are you making this request, literally you can type pretty much whatever here, I'm just going to write to see it, you can copy that if you want to, <laughs> like that's all you really need to do. This next section here is extremely important, make sure you do not click delete. You want to click view on the Minecraft server section, this will basically send you the package which contains all of your Hypixel data. If you click the delete button, it will also permanently ban your account, uh, which I'm going to assume you don't want, so click view. I'll also click view just to see my Hypixel forms data just because, I don't know, might as well, it's kind of interesting. As for this final box, what do you plan to do on this information? Look at it. <laughs> Again, you can really type whatever there, I don't think they care much. Specify that you're the owner of the account and that you did not provide any false information and then you are good to click submit. 
After you click submit, it will ask you to just make sure that everything you submitted is correct. If there's something wrong, you can click the button to fix it. If not, then you can send the request. It'll give you this support code that you can use to check on the status of it. Or if you have any questions or queries about it, then you can go to the support and give them this code. So it did take two days for this next email to come through, but I did get a follow up from Hypixel support, basically just asking for all of the information a second time, as well as a picture of your government issued photo identification. And as it says here, they require this information for legal and security purposes. Now what I did for this was essentially just take a photo of my driver's license with my phone uh, and then emailed it to myself then attached it to this email that I'm replying back with. I am not 100% sure which forms of ID and proof of residency they do and do not accept. So if you guys do actually fill out a data request, please let me know what form of identification and proof of residency you attach and whether or not they accepted it. And I'll do my best to compile any replies that I get in the pinned comment that will basically let you know which forms of ID are accepted and which ones got denied. Now a lot of this is blurred out, but essentially I just replied, hello, this should all be the required information. I replied with what they asked for, everything here. I used the email that my forms account is linked to here as the primary email, but I don't actually check this email pretty much ever. So I did ask them to send it to my main email if possible. Uh, and then I just mentioned that I attached my driver's license here. So I'll just hit send and they should send me another email confirming and then it may take up to 30 days for the actual package to come through. So the last email update that we got was on the 22nd of December uh, and now it is the 21st of January. So it did take almost an entire month but at long last the ticket has been updated and they replied with the email with the two links. So like I said I requested the uh, game server data which is the first link and the forms data. If you click on both these links, it should open up a new tab and then immediately start the download. An important thing to note is that the links will expire in seven days. So be sure to download them before then or else, you know, you'll have to request it again. And that's everything. So although it does take a while for them to get back to you, it is a relatively simple process. I tried looking it up, but I haven't actually been able to find anybody else really showcasing the uh, fact that you can do this, which is why I figured I'd make this tutorial to let you guys know about this cool feature. So if this helped you or if you found this interesting at all, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Rackles and peace.